first of all, you, 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 you've got to, to look at his, his base and what is it you're trying to do? Uh, are you trying to hide certain defects in his base or are you trying to change his look? And so you have to basically understand facial structures, uh, what you're looking at. And like I say, this guy may have a, a, an oblong looking look, or he may have a square look, uh, the, the oval look, uh, maybe he has a round look. And so you're trying to create a different look uh, with the facial hair. So, and it's fitting it onto his face. It's just not, say, a mustache or a beard. It, it's it's basically you're trying to mold it onto his face so it, it fits his face. It's not like, like I said, it's not like you're trying to put a, a, uh, a, a square pig into a raw, raw a round hole. You, you, you got to mold it to the face. A, a beard and facial grooming, that's a, that's a different different realm in which we, we have to go into that's never been touched and so it, it, it's a little bit different than, than haircutting. It, it, I use a the, the razor and facial grooming, I use, you know, sometimes you use a razor underneath to clean up the underneath and maybe up in through here, you know, depending, uh, you know, the line up in here and then underneath the, the line up underneath uh, for, uh, to, to create the line underneath the, the, uh, the beard. But uh, you use a little bit of the razor. Yes, you do.